So, a guy named Pow Pow, he, uh, he, he had some difficulties trying to use his items. And I tried to help him, and I think he understood. But just in case, I decided to make an, an extra video about it. Since I, I do have some free time today. So, um, so the way we need to like use items. This it item class, right here, if I'm just going to open it up. It has some different variables, and and we can use these variables to make scripts, which makes us do things with the items. So I don't have a, a lot of it, but the most important one is this public int ID. This ID is the way we can identify which item is which, because an ID needs to be unique to the item. There cannot be the same type of ID on an item or else it it just wouldn't would be good that's something you you need to make sure so i do have some wood some stone i have some birch wood and a rare sword and they all have their unique id and then their respective values so i want to make a like a centralized item use manager whatever and and I'm gonna call that an item manager of something so the item manager this this is gonna be like a centralized script so for example if we made some UI where you can equip a, a sort then that e equipable slot for the sword will like send some information to this item manager and the item manager will then make sure that you can actually pull out a sword or whatever and like in it, the, the item manager will, will activate what you want to do so this this item manager do, doesn't like need a lot of things in it usually it just needs a void, a public void, and this is going to be like a use item. Oh shit! Use item, and in here we are gonna have a reference to the item right here. So uh, we can also just use the ID, respectively. And we don't need this. And then, basically, what we're gonna do is uh, have a switch statement. And switch statement, I don't, I don't know why they call it like a switch statement. I I think like a match statement makes more sense because what you actually do with a switch statement is you put in a variable. You can also only use one variable, and you use this variable to check for different scenarios. So I can check for the case zero and break. The break pops out of the of the switch. And I am gonna make the different cases. And if if by some way the player somehow equip something you couldn't you have this default and the default break just you can do nothing you can also send some information to a player that you can't equip so that's the default so when we do this k0 break i can just go down to my items i just need to refresh which id is which it will be a good idea to also comment it in the scripts if you want to have an overview of what is what. So at ID zero, which of ha has base wood. So I'm gonna say this is wood, and we can just say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make some functionality. I'm just gonna make a quick overview on how to do it. So do something with wood, and. One the stone, then do something with stone, and 
That should be pretty good. Stone. Then my guess is that the uh, two West Birch Wood. Like I do know that for some item it does it doesn't make sense to use something, but this is also just an example. And at last, that was the rare sort, I think. Yeah, it must be since uh, there's only four items. This is gonna be unique. Equipped sort. So, with this switch statement kinda has an overview of all items in the game. That that can work. That's also like it's okay. Maybe if you want to be more specific, you can maybe make different voids for like the different scenarios. So this is like a use weapon item, like a, a public void. Use weapon item. It, it's basically the same, but then you just have a switch statement specifically for the weapons IDs and that can also be fine like uh, I don't think it uh, it can it doesn't hurt performance really because uh, switch statements have something called a lookup table so when it gets uh, initialized and built onto the PC when you actually run it, it will have uh, the, the thing called a lookup table so when it gets the ID and it knows that it has some cases for this value. It will just skip this code and, for example, go to this case immediately. So it's really good for performance. That's why I prefer. I, I would say that the switch statement is a uh, preferred to use over like an if 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 else statements because if else statements it will check every single scenario and if if your scenario is at the bottom, then you will have to do a lot of unnecessary uh, pr processing. So use a switch statement for these kind of things. Oh, so it's a no-brainer. But I would, I would, I would personally maybe pr prefer to make different voids for the different types of weapons. So in here we only have switch statements, which checks checks for the cases of weapon IDs. It can maybe be a little bit messy, but then it will maybe have like the weapon slot where you equipped. It will then personally just run ask for this function instead of uh, having all of these also not only that the the most important thing about that is that it will be more easy for you personally which is coding this because oh you have this huge switch statement then it uh, and those can be kind of over overwhelming then it's easier to just put split them up in small switch statements and just and just add the parts where they need to be added in the different voids, but this should work. Um, I'm not gonna make like an a an equip slot. I don't have uh, time for that. I do have. I do need to attend a birthday later today, but so I'm just gonna make a public int and just say id. Is equals to zero. Oh wait, I'm actually gonna make a function. I'm I'm just gonna make it just to to be the most practical way. I'm just gonna add a different type of weapon, which uh, a new type of script we will then run this function using one of the IDs. So we could say that I do have a t we can test it like this. So. Yeah, first of all, we do need the item manager to be somewhere. I'm just going to put it on the player right here, the item manager. And here in the inventory, UI interaction. Yeah, I think that's the. Yeah, I think that's the one we need. There's also the inventory system there. Well, that just. Yeah, OK. So let's do this. So on and drag parent 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 some code. Let's see how much how much I can actually 
remember of this. We do have a point to click. I'm just doing it here. That's the easiest. So here in the point of click, I'm just gonna quickly find. Uh, I'm just gonna say game object dot find game object of type input manager. You don't need to do the not input manager item manager. You don't need to do this specifically like I am. This is just for testing purposes to see if it works. And we're gonna find the what's the name of the this use item. Use item. And in here we're just gonna have the the event data point a click slot item in slot. And we're gonna use the ID for this. So, oh, we actually don't need this. That's pretty good. That's just less things we need to do. So, here. Then, in here, when I pick up, up some items and I should click on it, then it's my item manager would know which item I am clicking on, respectively. And then we can run any type of function or whatever type of code, which will then do whatever we want to do. So, I'm just gonna pick up these items, and if I click on, for example, wood, then do something with wood. Crazy. We can do the same with salt, equip salt, stone, do something with stone, and here do something with birch wood. So this works. Then whatever type of thing you want to do, if you want to do when I drag this salt on a on a equipped slot, then it will automatically equip a sort in our inventory by just maybe instantiate or set active this sort to true, and then this sort has the sort script, which will make sure when we press on the mouse button, the the left mouse button, then we can attack something. So yeah, this is it. It took like 30 minutes. I hope this made sense for you. Mr. Pow2278 and I hope this was useful and also thank you for 69 subscribers that's pretty cool and, and yeah almost 1000 1, views on here that's, that's pretty good I do want to make some more videos I am making mo so almost soon a devlog about this little fox guy because that's my school project and I do want to to make some videos so maybe I'm just gonna make a video about my school project uh, if so I also kind of want to make like a series where I do where I make some t type of game and if anybody have some suggestions for that you could tell me what it is and what you want to see then we can uh, maybe build out a little game together as a little small small community of like 69 people and and then you can maybe also learn some things and tips and tricks which I can show you because I do have a lot of experience I I started doing unity for when I was like 13 and now I'm 19 yay well anyway goodbye um I'm not gonna waste any more of your time